So the question is, is there anywhere in Tenerife, in Los Cristianos, or even Las Americas, or in, in between, that you can still get a one euro beer? Oh, what's that popping out I see? That is a one euro beer, until six o'clock. And this is in Las Vistas. So just as you're coming past the Sun King, uh, you'll see a few 150 bars. And this is the Aberdeen Steakhouse. And I believe it's, you know, even if you get a beer served in a Dorado glass, always ask them, what beer is it? Even if it's in a San Miguel glass, ask them what beer it is. Find out what it is, because you never know what you're being served. But trust me, people do this. So, you know, sometimes, I mean, as an example, I've had a Dorado glass before. And I thought it was uh, Dorada, and it actually wasn't, it was San Miguel. So I'm thinking the taste doesn't taste like Dorada, so this is why you always ask these questions. Now this is actually a pint of Tropical, and this is one euro until six o'clock. So that's actually really good value until six o'clock, and it is absolutely freezing. Let's give it a try. Now she said it's a good pint, I'll be the judge of that. It's not bad. If I had to choose between this and Bora Bora, um, I mean they're both good. This one's just not as strong because obviously Bora Bora, uh, their beers are actually pretty decent for a one euro. They're not a full pint, but yeah. Come down to Aberdeen Steakhouse. I'm gonna show you about it. And that's their menu, Steakhouse. So after six o'clock, uh, the pints are three twenty-five. Or you can get a bottle of Dorada for two fifty. That's not bad. Or you can get a draft beer, extra extra large, for five fifty, and there is smoothies as well. Fanta lemon, okay, that's my favourite. Some really good uh, smoothies, just look at that. If you're looking for a one euro pint and you're in Las Vistas, come down to Aberdeen Steakhouse, check it out. It's been lovely young girl. Uh, the nombre? The nombre? Your name? For YouTube? No, okay, that's fine. So she doesn't want to say her name, but the lady with the accent. But uh, come down. See? And okay. Okay. Right. So, anyway, moving on. Um, so, Aberdeen Steakhouse. Just come speak to the lady with the accent, black top. Um, definitely check this place out. Don't know why she's so nervous about giving a name on camera, but that's fine. Not a problem at all. Check out the one euro pints here. Um, got any questions? Comment below, and uh, see you guys soon. So, that euro beer at um, Aberdeen Steakhouse. Not bad, I mean temperature wise it was absolute, an absolute 10, well 9.8 out of 10 to be exact, 9.8 out of 10. However, uh, the beer itself, not bad, it could have been better, uh, I'm not a big fan of Tropical but it's okay, I suppose it's a beer for a Euro but anyway, I thought, I thought for a second I found another Euro beer but guess what? They pulled a fast one on Pras Super. Have a look at this. So you're walking past and you see, oh look, one euro beer. And then you zoom in and you find out it's actually 150. Come on, really? That's a bit cheeky, isn't it? You're walking past, you see this. You can't see the 150 until you get close. Why don't you show people it's 150 as opposed to tricking people? To, I know you're trying to make money, it's a bit cheeky, but my personal opinion, change the sign make it more inviting give it a little bit of a clean personally because that sign is a little bit scruffy isn't it but my advice personally would be um check it out maybe it's worth it i don't know but it's definitely not one euro guys i can confirm that it's 150. i mean that's a bit of a cheeky move but i want to give it a try one day just not today though and bear in mind guys this is the place next door literally right next door to the aberdeen steakhouse where we just come from so there we go